What's going on YouTube? It's Sunday Bem3 back again with another video. So as you guys can see right now, I'm in the G80 M3. Super rainy outside right now, so I figured I'll make a video that's something indoors at least. Today, we're gonna go over how to use Beamer code to code your G80 M3, G82 M4, G87 M2. Basically, any of the G-Series cars, most of what I'm gonna show you guys today can be applied to those or any other G-Series features as well. So just be sure to research and make sure what you do is applicable to your car before doing it. So I did have my car already coded previously, but as I'm gonna show you guys, I'm updating to a new software update. So that's gonna reset the car's features and everything. So once you do that update, you have to end up recoding everything you did before with Beamer Code again. So I only had about five things done that I'll show you guys and give you the step-by-step -step walkthrough. So before that, let's get into showing you how to update the software. As you guys can see here, my current iDrive system is updated on the 2023 March version and it looks like it's gonna be updated to the 2023 November version. So in this update, if we select it right here, info about it, you can see there are some minor changes. I already went through it earlier. Nothing that really needed to be updated. If you guys have the Femto unlock already, no need to worry about it. So it looks like some small things having to deal with the connected drive emergency services, some upgrades, enhancements, and also dealing with the driver assistance system, which I have and then some other small things right below. So I figured I might as well update the system and then I can show you guys how to update the Beamer code and how to code your car and with my top five favorite settings. To start the software update, as you guys can see, I have a little notification pop up on the top of my screen. So if we go to the notifications, you can see right here, it gives a warning that it's going to start and take about 20 minutes to do so. So make sure your vehicle is parked safely and you won't need it for that time period. Once you confirm, just press OK here, and then you can perform start upgrade. It'll do all the checks to make sure the key is inside, everything's there, and then you get the final countdown, 10 seconds that it's going to start. So we'll let it go for about 20 minutes, and once it's done, I'll give you an update once we're returned. All right, guys, as you can see, about 20 minutes later, the upgrade is completed. So again, if you want, you can see the information about the new version, which I mentioned below. So we're just gonna go and hit okay. And we're back in. So far, initial, everything looks like it's original. No issues in that. I do have a brake fluid service coming soon, so I'll be showing you guys that. But yep, pretty much until I drive the car and kind of notice some changes further, I'll let you guys know if I see anything. One step you do have to take after performing a software update is if your remote start doesn't work on the app or the key fob anymore, basically what you're gonna have to do is go to the menu AC right here and come down to preconditioned ventilation, remote start engine. And as you can see right now, it's unchecked after the update. So you're gonna have to go and check that again and select OK to confirm. So once that's done, your remote start will work again as expected. Now that we successfully performed the software update, we can get into the fun stuff and start coding the GADM. So in order to do that, you need to do two things. First thing is on your smartphone, Android or iPhone, download the Beamer Code app. It costs about $30. It's a lifelong purchase, so you can use it on multiple phones, no subscriptions needed. And the second thing you're gonna need is the VGate VLinker adapter. There are other ones available on the market as well that are suggested by Beamer Code, but I honestly like this one the best and have used it in my previous vehicles. So just a quick unboxing of what it contains. It's just some instructions right here. And the main piece, like I said, is the OBD2 adapter. This is just gonna go under your driver's side footwell in the OBD plug. And then once we do that, we can open the software app and then I'll show you. So I'm gonna start screen recording and give you guys a voiceover walkthrough of what needs to be done. Before opening the Beamer Code app, we do need to put the vehicle into diagnostic mode in order to connect the V-Gate V-Linker to the Beamer Code app. So in order to do that, without pressing your foot on the gas or brake, simply press the start and stop button three times in quick succession. And then you'll get a pop-up on the bottom center in a few seconds saying that the vehicle is in diagnostic mode. We're just gonna take the adapter and plug it right into the OBD2. As you can see, a green light's there, which means it's successfully getting power. Now the rest of the steps, we're gonna get on our phone and do that. 
Once we open the Beamer Code app, we're going to tap settings on the bottom right and check if there's any updates available. It looks like we're updated, so now we're going to go and select our adapter, the V-Link Bluetooth, and let it connect. Next, select our car, which is the BMW M3, and let the app load up with the current settings. The first thing we're going to code is active sound design. So head to receiver audio module, and once that loads, select active sound design and change that to not active. Then we can go ahead and code. That'll be the first step we need to do for this, and then in many cases we'll need to do a second step, which is in the bottom middle, select activation codes, select active sound design, and deactivate that code. Once deactivated, we need to code again. Next, we're going to do Bowers and Wilkins audio profile. So head over to the head unit and scroll down to where you see Bowers and Wilkins sound settings, and all you need to do is select activate. Once activated, you can go ahead and code. While we're in head unit, we're going to scroll down to video in motion and select activate and code that as well. To remove the traction warning errors on the iDrive, we're going to disable that notification. Lastly, due to my P3 gauge, whenever I use remote start, it triggers the alarm system. So we need to disable the OB22 alarm. Once that's coded and we're all done with everything, we can go ahead and disconnect from the Beamer code app. For the video in motion to work, first you're going to need a USB-C flash drive and plug it into the center console and load it with MP4 codec files. In my case, I just used music videos, but you can do movies, etc. Next, we're going to go into media, find your flash drive. I called it BMW M3. Select that. And next, we're just going to go and select one of your videos. Pick anything right there. You can see it's playing. Turning it down for copyright. Go ahead and start your vehicle. And then if you just put it in drive, you can see we're in drive. Video's playing. Everything's working good. Tested the rest of the features. There's no check engine light or coding or warning. Nothing you can see with the notifications above here. Hope that was helpful for you guys. And if you need any coding help and you live around the South Jersey Philly area, definitely hit me up. I can help you code these features I did today or anything else that you might see in the app for future. Sundeep M3 out.